Hello everyone, my name is Kumar Aditya and in this video I will show you the characteristics of a silicon carbide MOSFET uh, from uh, uh, Cree. So Cree uh, is also known as Wolf Speed and I have downloaded this uh, MOSFET model from their website and this is the data sheet of that particular MOSFET. So it is rated for 1200 volt and uh, current rating is 63 amp at 25 degrees Celsius. So essentially I'm trying to capture this uh, particular characteristic shown in the data sheet, you know this one. So this is uh, ID versus uh, PDS plot for different value of uh, gate source voltage. So uh, I am performing the uh, sweep on this uh, VDS from zero to 10 volt uh, in the increment of one millivolt and uh, I am doing this for, you know, six different value of VGS so that I can get uh, six curve of uh, IDS versus VGS. And this model has two extra terminal, TJ and TC. TC represents the case temperature and TJ represents the junction temperature. And they have their uh, manual on how to use this uh, uh, spice model. So here uh, I am performing a DC sweep and clearly the instruction says if you read here to perform a DC simulation junction temperature must be connected to a voltage source to fix the junction temperature to a constant value. So this is what I have done. I have connected the junction temperature to a voltage source and voltage uh, setting here represents the temperature setting or the temperature of the junction. So I am using this uh, variable temp to vary the temperature of the junction. For now, I have kept it at 150 degrees Celsius because this plot is for, uh, you know, 150 degrees Celsius. So if I run the simulation, uh, this is the plot I get. Let me rerun it. Yeah, so this is what I get now. This is not a point by point match with the data sheet because uh, the instruction manual clearly says that a model is only accurate for certain parameters because if you see read here, it says MOSFET is optimized and verified for case temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and 150 degrees Celsius. Clearly, I have left the case temperature uh, floating uh, and I am forcing the junction to stay at 150 degrees Celsius. But nevertheless, idea here is to uh, know, learn how to use uh, uh, such kind of MOSFET uh, model which has the case temperature and junction temperature terminal in addition to your drain source and gate terminal. So this is uh, 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 the x-axis here is the VDS and y-axis the IDS or ID. So I get six curve for this uh, 150 degrees Celsius for six different value of VGS. Now we can also we can also plot the curve for you know minus 55 degrees Celsius here if you see this this upper plot is for minus 55 degrees Celsius. So I can change the temperature variable to be minus 55. And I, if I run it, I get a, uh, you know a set of curve uh, correlating to this particular figure one of the data sheet. So this is very simple to use and it's very uh, handy if you are trying to access the junction temperature. Now I'm performing a DC sweep. That's why I am forcing the junction temperature to a particular value. But uh, ideally uh, you will not have access to junction temperature. Ideally you will apply a voltage or you know temperature at the case and 
uh, you will estimate the junction temperature using some algorithm or some kind of uh, measuring technique so the model here clearly says let me find it it was mentioned somewhere if uh, yeah so here it clearly says that the junction terminal can be tj can be used to read the junction temperature or to apply a junction temperature so i am applying a junction temperature and you won't get any error if this terminal is floating similarly case temperature uh, must be connected to either a voltage source or heat sink rc network uh, and this terminal can also be left floating so if you do not connect it to a voltage source or some kind of rc network you will not get any error so this is very useful and uh, i hope uh, you get the idea how to use uh, uh, the mosfet model from the wolf speed uh, let me show you one more thing in my previous video uh, on the characteristic of a mosfet the model i used didn't have the thermal behavior coded in so we didn't get the set of curve for different temperature but here the thermal behavior is already modeled. So let me plot the curve for three different temperature. And since this is too much, I will just plot for one VGS so that you can observe. You can observe the effect of temperature variation on the, on the plot. So if I run it, you see, you get three different curve. So green is for uh, 25 degree celsius blue is one for 85 degree celsius and red one is for 125 degree celsius so for uh, one particular value of vgs uh, i am plotting the same curve for three different temperature so if your model has lt spice model has a thermal behavior coded in you can uh, study the effect of temperature on the characteristics of the MOSFET. So one more thing, uh, this case temperature, you can force it to the ambient or like the manual says, you can connect it to a RC network, which uh, will represent your you know, thermal uh, heat sink. So yeah, so that's not the focus of this video. Maybe I will cover it sometime in future. For now, bye-bye.